Okay, everyone, I was going through my email and I came across something that I might have missed. Uh, this didn't uh, appear in your uh, local news, but nevertheless, this is an uh, article that uh, I think everyone should be aware of. It seems that Congress may soon vote on a new declaration of worldwide war without end and without clear enemies. The article is entitled, New Authorization of Worldwide War Without End. It says, a sleeper provision deep inside defense bills pending before Congress could become the single biggest handover of unchecked war authority from Congress to the ex executive branch in modern American history. This is dated May 18th. So this is a few days ago. It says, President Obama has not sought new war authority. In fact, his administration has made clear that it believes it already has all the authority it needs to fight terrorism. But if you read on, it says, but Congress is considering monumental new legislation that would grant the president and all presidents after him sweeping new power to make war almost anywhere and everywhere, unlike previous grants of authority for Afghanistan and Iraq wars, was proposed legislation would allow a president to use military force wherever terrorism suspects are present in the world regardless of whether there has been any harm to the US citizens or any attack on the United States or any imminent threat of an attack. The legislation of, is broad enough to permit a president to use military force within the United States and against American citizens. This is amazing folks. This is absolutely amazing. If Congress signs into law, we are in some deep shit. The legislation contains no expiration date and no criteria to determine when a president's authority to use military force would end. Of all the powers that Constitution assigns to Congress, no power is more fundamental or important than the power to declare war. That is why in 2002, when Congress is considering whether to authorize war in Iraq, it held 15 hearings and passed legislation that cited specific, specific harms, set limits, and defined a clear objective. Now Congress is supposed to give unchecked authority to executive branch to use military force worldwide with profoundly negative consequences for our fundamental democ democratic system of checks and balances. Once Congress expands the president's full power, war power, it will be nearly impossible to rein it back in. The U ACLU strongly opposes a wholesale turnover of power from Congress to the President and all of his successes. Guys, if this isn't clear enough for you, then I don't know what is. I don't know what is. I'm going to be linking you to this article in case you think I'm lying, but this pretty much gives authority to the President, if they go through with it, of course, which I have no reason why they wouldn't. Um, to pretty much do anything he wants. He could even, uh, according to this article, even attack U.S. citizens if they feel it necessary. So this is amazing. Uh, I was, I thank the person who sent it to me. Uh, I was made aware of this just now, just reading emails. That's how important the emails are, guys. Keep them coming. Anyway, guys, the link is below, and I think uh, everyone should read this article and find out more about it. Take it easy, folks. Bye.